James Penfield's world, to succeed is everything, and conquest is pursued at any cost. It is a world in which history has become a commodity. What would you call that? Plowman's lunch. Plowman's lunch. Traditional English fare. In fact, it's the invention of an advertising campaign with none of the early 60s to encourage people to eat in pubs. A completely successful fabrication of the past. And in which distorting the truth is part of the process. It was in the House of Commons that the government's decision was announced following Israel's advance into Egypt. Gentlemen, let me introduce you to one of our most talented contributors to the Cold War, James Benjamin. It is a world in which the opportunist gets everything he wants except the unattainable woman. And on the not power path was lots of sisters. A world of ambition at the expense of principle. And on the other path, I could keep on working. So, of course, I voted with the men, and the other women all resigned. It's obvious what you've got to do. The way into the daughter's pants is through the mother. Up the Suez Canal. You don't like flashbacks because your mother's a historian. Good theory, but I like my mother. I have no aversion as to what she does. I am a great admirer of yours. See, I'm a journalist, not a historian. Are you a socialist, Mr. Penfield? Yes. Oh, you are not a socialist, then? No. Oh, good. Two or three years ago, I would have stayed. And fucked you. It's my luck. Too late. I think I can rely on you to take the uncomfortable stands in life. I've done my bit. What we really need is national coverage. It's been difficult with the Falklands madness going on. Yes, I'm sure. Well, do you think you'll be able to do something when you get there? Well, uh, I'll certainly try. It's, it's all a bit crank, small-scale stuff. Vegetarians, hippies. Disturbed housewives. It's a local radio story of that. And that. The spirit of the South Atlantic was the spirit of Britain at her best. Jonathan Price, Tim Curry, Rosemary Harris, and Frank Finlay with Charlie Dore in The Plowman's Lunch. They were for the most part young. If this is tomorrow's generation, then Britain has little to fear. In the years to A come. man of our times in an age of deceit. Tell the people the truth, and the people will be our judge.